It's all the news, all the time. And today we're looking at a story coming out about Katie Price, also known as Jordan. Uh, she was a famous model back in the 1990s and early 2000s. This is her on the cover of Playboy, September 2002. And you've got to say, she is stunning. Just an amazing, beautiful woman. But what has been going on recently? Well, Katie Price, <laughs> she's rocking some high-heeled Crocs. Why? On a shopping trip with Carl Woods in Thailand after avoiding prison sentence. Again. Again. Um, she should be thrown in jail for this crime against fashion. Let's have a little look, shall we? Jesus, look at these things. Um, yeah, these are nasty looking shoes you've got right here. And there's some cuts caused in the back of her heel. Oh, look at these things. That's her new boyfriend. So, Kelly Price has been spotted picking up some bargains during a shopping trip after flying out to Thailand with Carl Woods following her recent court date. There she is shopping in those atrocious shoes. There's Carl. He is, he's a good looking guy. I like the uh, tattoo sleeves. They're nice. Um, so she's out in Thailand. She's wearing hideous shoes. She's gone shopping. Yeah, they are straightforward hideous. <laughs> The bright pink hybrid croc with a high heel is believed to be from the brand's collaboration with Balenciaga and retails at a cool £450, I kid you not, £450 to wear those, which she wore as a mule, <laughs> right, rather than in sports mode, sports mode, sports mode, <laughs> yeah right, with the strap at the back folded down sports mode no one has ever done sports in these shoes in their life they just they just don't they never have they never will sports mode um here we have kate katie and carl have flown out to thailand early in the week after the mother of five avoided a prison sentence for breaching a restraining order she had pleaded guilty to breaching the five-year order not to contact michelle pentecost these are some photos of michelle pentecost and uh, her ex-husband, Katie Price's ex-husband, Kieran Haler. So it seems that Michelle Pentecost was having an affair with Kieran Haler while Kieran Haler was going out with Katie Price. And this has caused some, some real bad feeling, as I think it would. Um, Katie was handed an 18-month community order to carry out 170 hours of unpaid work with the judge, and the judge adding, in my judgment, this offence was committed out of anger. The words you used were highly offensive and inflammatory, so the breach cannot be considered minor. This is her cousin's current boyfriend. Uh, Katie's first brush with the law regarding a motoring offence happened in 2003, so this is a long list of stuff when the businesswoman was allegedly caught doing 70 in a 40 mile an hour area. Due to police failing to arrest her within 12 weeks, she did not get into trouble. Right, they just didn't turn up. Some five years later, Katie was convicted, this time, of talking on her phone while driving in 2008. She received three points on her license and issued with a 200 pound fine. Following year, Katie allegedly broke a 30 mile an hour driving limit and failed to provide the identity of the driver to police. She was let off on a legal technicality by Brighton magistrates. Why, why does she keep getting up? Maybe she's got good lawyers. Next, the OnlyFans user, yeah, we'll come to that, was convicted of speeding at 99 miles an hour in September 2009. She was issued with four penalty points fined £250 in order to pay £500 prosecution costs. I was under the impression that if you did 99 miles an hour, that would be classed as Category 4 offence and a minimum of six penalty points, and it would be one and a half times your weekly wage as a fine. I don't think she earns £250 a week or £200 a week to make it a no. Yeah, I mean, she earns a lot more than that. So I don't know why it's so low, but maybe she's got really good lawyers. Um, September that year, Katie was convicted for failing to be in proper control of her vehicle 
when her lurid pink seven and a half ton horse box <laughs> veered into another lane in Sussex. The equestrian enthusiast, she does ride horses a lot, received a £1,000 financial fine, three penalty points, and was ordered to pay 650 in court costs. Right, that's September. In December, the former I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here contestant was banned for driving for six months, so she's actually got a ban this time, after she was caught speeding at 83 miles an hour in a 70 mile an hour zone in West Sussex. 70 mile an hour zone is a motorway. Find a thousand points. Yeah, that's the level of fines for a category, I think it's category one offence, plus three points in a licence. I thought it should be six. But anyway, six month ban. Here's some photos of Katie going into court, coming out of court, and her early modelling days. 2012, page three icon. I don't think many people remember page three, but it used to be that the Sun newspaper had topless photos of women on the page three, which was um, a huge selling point for the newspaper, but it got banned. Um, page three icon was banned once again from driving for a year, so she's banned again after failing to respond to two speeding tickets and find another £400. 2015, failed to stop at a red light, another three points, £700 fine. 2018, wow, if this was me, I'd be in jail. But 2018, banned again, 60 mile an hour in a 50 mile an hour zone, six month ban, £750 fine. 2018, caught by the paparazzi driving while banned. See, that would get you disqualified, or get me disqualified. Um, 2018 crashed the 4x4 into another car and a hedge, arrested and released no charges. Right. 2019, Katie was convicted of failing to produce details of the driver of the vehicle of that 2018 crash and was given a two-year driving ban, which was later cut down to 18 months. This is pictures of her going out of court. This is her current boyfriend. This is a crazy fur ensemble. And this is her back in her grid days, when she was a grid girl. Oh, that was a while ago. Benson and Hedges is a cigarette manufacturer. You're not allowed to advertise cigarettes on Formula One cars. Not for a long time. Oh, that's the Honda car. Uh-huh. In the early hours of September 28, 2021, uh, Katie flipped her Range Rover in a single vehicle crash while still banned from driving. Honestly, if this was me... I, I would still be in jail. After the incident, Katie confessed on Instagram, I realised the damage my actions could have caused not only to another family, but, but to my own as well. Exactly, it's dangerous. Sentencing, the reality TV star. In December 2021, District Judge Amanda Kelly told Katie she was lucky she wasn't going to prison. Yeah, I mean, how lucky is she? Or is there something else going on? And what are those sunglasses? Like... Is this space 1999 or what's going on? Uh, you got a motorbike somewhere? Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, she wasn't going to prison as she completed a rehabilitation program at the Priory following the crash near her home. Oh, that's convenient, isn't it? You turn up at the Priory and you sit around and have some juice boxes for a day and then you don't have to go to prison. Um, you deserve to spend Christmas behind bars, Katie was told in court, as she was sentenced to 100 hours of unpaid work in the community in 16-week prison sentence, which was suspended for a year. Right. Um, 2022, she's coming out of court again. Just weeks after receiving her suspended prison sentence, she spent 12 hours in a prison cell after being arrested for allegedly breaching restraining order. Yeah, this is the text message to um, this Michelle... Um, so she has a restraining order against or in favour of Michelle. Katie used abusive language towards ex-husband Kieran Hayer's current fiance Michelle. 39, there's uh, some photos of her. At the school gates, going on to be convicted of using threatening and abusive words or behaviour likely to cause harassment, alarm or distress. Text message allegedly sent, read, tell me your... Uh huh. Piece of, uh, uh huh. Girlfriend, not to start on me. I think you can fill in those little asterisks uh, with whatever you want to fill them in with. I think the S, maybe S H O E, maybe shoe, maybe, uh, uh hmm, who knows. Um, upcom <laughs> upcoming, <laughs> I do know. Upcoming case. The former glamour, former glamour model, was allegedly caught driving her BMW 
is a no it's not that that's the Land Rover um, while over the speed limit in a 60 mile an hour zone near her mansion in Horsham West Sussex in September last year speaking in May a Her Majesty's Court and t -t Tribunal Service spokesman said her case has been adjourned the next date is 5th of July this year I believe it's going to be in an open courtroom no plea has been entered onto the system the next hearing will be at Crawley Magistrates Court so she will be at Crawley Magistrates Court on the 5th of July for um, for the case to continue. That's if she has entered a plea of not guilty. If she's entered a plea of guilty, I think she can do it from video phone or video call from her home. I think that is the, the situation there. Um, here's some current of where she is sort of in her life at the moment. This is a nice photo of Carl on the sofa with Katie and her children Junior and Princess Junior and Princess uh, she shares them with Peter Andre I, th I, do have, I don't have a problem but I find the name Junior a bit weird like what happens when you're 50 years old and people are still calling you Junior hey, is that is that me or is that just you know Junior and uh, the same thing with Princess Princess is not a name it's a title you, you can be Princess something Princess Leia Princess Beatrice, but Princess as a first name? I don't know, I find that weird. But anyway, um, that's, I mean, talk to Elon Musk if you want to forget some weird names. Anyway, a uh, natural father, Katie Price's fiance, Carl Woods, there he is, is desperate to come but to become a dad and have a baby, she says, after she swerves jail. Again. Since the couple started dating in 2020, they've been very open uh, with how much they want to start a family together. Um, I think that's nice. I think they've got Junior, they've got Princess, they've got Harvey, which is already a lot. Um, and she's, um, you know, got her hands full, staying out of jail. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah. Um, here's her OnlyFans page. Uh, this is Katie Price, and she's currently running a 35% off offer. For 31 days ends July 8th. Today is July 1st. So if you want to jump in there for $9.74, you can see what all that's about. Um, you know, gentlemen of culture and uh, ladies of culture, you can jump in on that one. So I think that's all we got for you. Uh, so if you want to press the old, the old like button, if you found anything you liked, anything you found interesting, and press the old like button and uh, press the old subscribe button that always always helps and in fact press press any buttons you can find if you can find some more buttons just press them i mean what does it hurt uh, god that shoes <laughs> oh, 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 oh yeah. <laughs> on that terrible 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 photo i will catch you guys later jesus look at those things <laughs>